This is 8 News Now at 6. A reward is being offered for information leading to the arrest and the conviction of the person who committed the heinous murder of an elderly Las Vegas woman. Now, this August will mark 25 years since the disappearance of Ada Priolo, and anyone who was living in Las Vegas when this crime occurred will likely remember the details. Mrs. Priolo was kidnapped, then left for days inside the trunk of her car. The yeah, IT's George Knapp says cold case detectives are taking a fresh look at a gruesome mystery. Well, we all know what August is like here in the desert. The heat is intense, and weather records show the average high temperature back in August 1994 was 107 degrees. Imagine being trapped in your car in heat like that. Now imagine being trapped not merely inside the car, but inside the trunk for days. That's what happened to Ada Priolo. Cold case detectives need your help to finally solve this terrible crime. August 1994, residents of the Sartini Senior Housing Project were abuzz because one of their own was missing. 81-year-old Ada Marion Priolo was energetic, independent, and well-liked by her neighbors. Her disappearance set off alarm bells. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. It's very worrisome. I think that she was robbed or something. Ada's granddaughter, Tammy, was one of the family members interviewed during the police search. Nearly 25 years later, the pain is still evident. We were going crazy. Frantic. Huh. You know, it, nobody knew where she was, which was not that that was so out of the norm because every night, you know, she'd watch Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy. She had her routine and they would talk on the phone every almost every single day. Frantic after two days of no contact, Ada's daughter, Marilyn, called Metro. A few days later, Ada's Monte Carlo was found in the parking lot of this church on West Oakey. When detectives opened the trunk, they found a body along with bags of groceries. And they showed up, it was about 11 30, 12 12 o'clock at night, they showed up and they said, okay, we found the car. They described the woman in it. They wanted to know if it sounded like her, and there was no doubt it was her. This doesn't make any sense. Why would somebody do this to her? She's 81 years old. Multiple investigators have worked the case in the ensuing years. Cold case detective Ken Hefner is now on it. We believe she was probably robbed for her pocketbook cash. And how hard is it to get that from an 81-year-old lady? Detectives believe Ada drove from the Sartini complex to do some grocery shopping at Decatur and Meadows near her home. That's where she encountered her killer. Police say she and the groceries were stuffed into the trunk. Then the car was driven to the West Oakey Church just a few minutes away. The kidnapper walked away from the church, leaving Ada in the stifling darkness of the trunk on a day that likely hit 107 degrees. The chances of her being discovered in the very short time frame it would take for her to uh, succumb to the heat is you know, very short. You could die, an 81-year-old lady could die in an hour in the trunk of a car. Uh, if that, yes. Police believe the kidnapper was a young male with a criminal record who lived in the general area near the church. Over the years, they interviewed several suspects and eliminated all but a few. But they need the public's help. Whoever did this may have talked to somebody else that they're close to, family members, boyfriend, girlfriend, and um, mentioned it in the past. Perhaps that relationship with those people have changed and maybe they'll come forward and help us uh, put this case to rest. In the meantime, the cold case team is taking a fresh look at physical evidence, fingerprints left on the trunk, and possible DNA evidence from inside the car, using advanced screening that wasn't available years ago. Nearly 25 years have passed, but Ada's death is still an open wound for her family. It's her mother, and she has never had closure. You know, we don't have any, none of it makes any sense. But our grandma was horrifically murdered at an age where she should never fear going to the grocery store. Police suspect robbery might have been the initial motive, though Ada typically carried very little cash. The kidnapper may have approached her in the grocery store or in the parking lot, forced her into the trunk, then left her, perhaps thinking someone would come along and get her out. Detectives think the killer is still here in Southern Nevada. In fact, they have good reason to believe that. And while they are now retesting the physical evidence, the real hope is that someone who knows the murderer will come forward. A reward is being offered. You can call Metro Homicide or the I-Team and we'll pass the information along. This case is solvable. Just need somebody to step up to the plate. We have additional resources there on our website if you want to take a look. So glad they haven't forgotten about her. Yeah, thanks, George.